Hi folks. Well, uh, I went out and bought myself a magnet, mag light flashlight. Uh, recently, BC Truck, one of my YouTube buddies, bought uh, bought one of these, and he had a video kind of demonstrating that flashlight on on YouTube, and. I thought, you know, I need to get one because I used to have an LED flashlight and what happened to it is I left the batteries in it and I didn't use it for a while and then those batteries leaked and they ruined the flashlight. Uh, they completely trashed it. So uh, some time's gone by and I decided I'd get another flashlight but, but this isn't really about the flashlight. And what it's about is these goddamn batteries. So I got my new flashlight and I went in to go get some batteries to put in it. And this is what I found. I had these batteries and these were stored away in a drawer. And uh, they're completely trashed. Uh, they're, they're Got acid all over them, and they're leaking. And this is what happens to uh, these kind of batteries, alkaline batteries. This is what happens to them. And, you know, I did run out and buy some more alkaline batteries. And I got these, I got these actually at Harbor Freight. And it was, it was eight dollars for four alkaline batteries but uh, since I ruined my other flashlight I'm kind of I'm kind of reluctant to use alkaline batteries in the flashlight uh, one thing's for sure if I don't plan on using that flashlight for a while if I'm using alkalines I'll take those batteries out and put them near the flashlight or with the flashlight but not in the flashlight uh, because it will wreck your flashlight, and I mean that when those things leak, it sucks, it's no fun at all. Anyway, I, uh, I decided that I'd look into using some other kind of a, a battery instead of a, an alkaline battery. And I've been using lithium chloride batteries in my camera. Uh, and those things, you know, with an alkaline battery, I can shoot for maybe two hours. And with those lithium batteries, I can, I can shoot for, uh, I don't know how long exactly. I mean, I, I, shot, I, sh I shot six hours worth of uh, video with my camera, trying to wear them down to, to just see how long they'd last with those lithium batteries. And... Uh, they're still powering the, the camera, so I'm not sure how long they would last, but they last a whole lot longer. They last at least three times as long as the lithium batteries, and they <coughs> it's probably longer because, uh, you know, it's already been six hours, so that's three times as much already, and it's still working. What I decided to do, I wanted to get some kind of rechargeable battery and these are uh, these batteries here are nickel metal hydride batteries NI-MH and these are rechargeable batteries and you know these are double A's though and of course they won't fit they won't fit in a D cell battery but you can get spacers for them and so I got some spacers and so my intention is to use this kind of a, a battery, a double A. I'm going to use it inside my flashlight because uh, I don't want to have any leaking, any leaking batteries. Now uh, these are rechargeable. Now these particular ones, uh, Tenergy has a good reputation for batteries. Uh, it's a Chinese company, but. Uh, what can you find these days that's not made in China? But they, they do have a, a very 
good reputation for the batteries. Uh, if you're going to buy this kind of battery, these rechargeable uh, nickel hydride batteries, uh, make sure that uh, you check the reputation of the, of the brand of batteries because some of them uh, are actually not nickel metal hydride. They're actually alkaline batteries and they're just sold incorrectly uh, for more money as, uh, as nickel metal hydride. But, but these have a good reputation. I checked it online. And there's another thing about them too is they all have a different uh, there's a lot of different ratings for these kind of these kind of batteries, these nickel metal hydrides. These particular batteries are 2,000 milliamp hours. That's, that's the amount of, uh, of uh, storage that it has. Now, this kind of battery here, an alkaline D cell, is supposed to be 10,000 milliamp hours. So it has five times the energy in it as one of these. But these are rechargeable, and these can be recharged. Uh, supposedly up to 1,000 times and uh, you know later I, I bought a different kind of, uh, of, of adapter uh, to use that actually can accommodate three of these and I'll show that once I get it. Uh, these here will only accommodate one but these these can be used in, in my flashlight and I'm going to try it in a minute uh, it's not only these either. You can put uh, AA uh, alkaline batteries into these kind of adapters, or you could also put uh, the lithium ion or the lithium chloride batteries in them too. And uh, so any of those will work, and then uh, you won't have that problem with the leakage on these D cell batteries. So I'm going to open up these packages and I'll uh, insert one of these batteries into one of these here and then we'll try it in the flashlight. So I got the packages open and just a question of just pushing them in. Uh, now this isn't the only brand. Uh, this is uh, a Lenmar. This isn't the only brand of these. Uh, Interloop makes some and there's some other kinds too. But uh, you just pop these things in and then just use it like a D-cell battery. So right now I have the uh, I have the camera aimed into the bathroom here and it's dark. It's not pitch black but it's dark and you can't see very much so I'm gonna put on this flashlight. Now this is this is with the with the alkaline batteries and that's a serious light even that's on the low setting that's on the high setting that's on the medium setting and now we're going to try it with the uh, with the double A's that are in those spacers so here we've got the the double uh, A batteries with the spacers in them And it works fine. Now obviously since this has uh, fewer milliamp hours then these batteries will not last as long like this as, as the alkalines. When I went to put the flashlight uh, when, when I put these, uh, these double A's with spacers in uh, it wouldn't turn on and the reason is uh, it can't it can't uh, make contact with the back of the with the back of the battery so I had to put a penny in and then I screwed it on and it worked but that was the the big problem uh, I'll have to do something a little bit more permanent maybe I'll solder a penny onto this spring or something like that 
but it does work and that's the main thing. So that's really about it for this video. Uh, now I, I bought a charger but I bought it online and it's a it's a fancy charger and it'll it'll charge uh, double A's it'll charge nickel metal hydride and lithium ion batteries double uh, A and triple A and it's got a battery tester and all that stuff on it uh, and it because these kind of these kind of batteries these these nickel metal hydride, you know, they they got to be charged, obviously, but they do need some. You need to pay a little bit of special attention with them. I don't have to buy uh, D cells anymore. I can I can just buy these double A's, and they work in my camera. They work in the flashlight, and they work in some other stuff. So I can stop using these. Uh, I can stop using these these stupid alkaline D cells because. Uh, when they leak, it really can be uh, costly, and it's also frustrating. These these kind of batteries here, you can put in a drawer and take them out two or even three years later, and they'll still work. With the alkaline batteries, not so much. But the, these here will hold a charge for two or three years. So uh, it won't be a full charge, but it'll be enough to uh, operate whatever it is you're trying to operate, provided it's a decent cell. One thing I forgot to mention, and I'll mention it now, is uh, they make these kind of spacers for C-cell uh, applications also. So these spacers also come in C-cell size. So these can be, these double A's can be double A, they can be C, or they can be D-cells. Uh, any of those, if, as long as you have the, the spacers, you can use them for all, those, all of those different applications. That's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments just go ahead and leave them in the in the uh, comments section below. Thanks a lot. Bye.